Okay, Christoph Klugston, the power linguist, or as I've been called in some uh, messages to me of people asking me different questions, the bad boy of linguistics and languages, which is not bad, I'll go with that, Putting it, laying the smack down on other people. Anyway, here to talk to you today, uh, the lighting here is really bizarre, I know that people have kind of commented on that too, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, not good really. Anyway, the uh, topic is some more ideas uh, about language learning methods and things that most people don't know about on YouTube. And they haven't done all the research and looked at many different things. And this is a right brain. It's a right brain and a left brain approach. And it's uh, by a man named Rassus. Or you can look up uh, an initially the Dartmouth uh, language model. And it's still used at Dartmouth. This guy was in control of the original Peace Corps language programs that were very successful, especially the Fr French programs that went to Africa. The, they were all, actually, he taught all those initial people himself. And anyway, so this is a very right brain mixed with left brain. It starts with right brain uh, methods and the presentation. But the, something else that he does that's very important is that he has people communicating. They have to communicate. They, he feels that people learn by wanting to communicate. They don't. Uh, they they speak and learn. They don't learn to speak, basically. So the act of communication to get uh, a message across is what motivates us in in our L1 and what motivates us for learning. His his uh, approach is very dynamic. Uh, it's very powerful. You're not going to find a whole lot about it, even if you do. So you have to do, you have to do specific research and go to specific institutions because it's pretty well guarded. Even though a university paid for it, and the Peace Corps paid for it, and some other organizations paid for it too. Initially, he's trademarked it, and the like some other areas because he falls into accelerated learning, and everyone who's doing accelerated learning. Uh, charges <laughs> appropriately. They charge for uh, 10 days what other people would be charging for, depends on where you would be going of course, but for uh, two or three months basically. Well depending on the language of course. I've never, uh, yeah it depends. I mean I'm, th I'm thinking of actual examples but anyway they cover quite a few uh, different languages uh, to Dartmouth uh, during the summer is when they have people come because they have vacations obviously and come and spend their money to go through the accelerated uh, classes and they do a lot as I have talked about drills you cannot get away from this the production over learning and usage being functional in the language which is what I've harped on from day one which separates uh, these productive methods from the YouTube slow to get through, take three years and you still can't do anything functionally. Uh, ideas don't work. Anyway, so this is the RASIS method. It is a balance. It's very right brain. It's very dynamic. It's, it works very well. He has a huge success rate uh, with the Peace Corps. Dartmouth pr produced the people who uh, did very well in standardized testing. He also used at Phillips University in Oklahoma. I think the University of Denver used it, uh, or may still be using it, and, and some other, uh, you know, Florida, I forget if it's Florida State or University of Florida, but they've also used his model. Uh, he uh, is also a corporate trainer. That's where the big money lies, right? Get all the corporations like Berlitz has tried to move into almost exclusively these days and you make more money. So everybody's about capitalism because in the end you've got to you can't be Mr. Miyagi <laughs> pushing a broom and doing it just for the love of it. But the difference being these people have cre credentials and certifications and a lot of actual work and toll and R&D went into it, not just some fly-by-night guy. Anyway, so the Rasis method, again, uh, I cannot give you specific details because I've seen parts of it. I have not gone through the training, all of it. The there's, there's teacher training to become a Rasis approved teacher. I haven't gone through that. I've known about this for many years. This is one of the things that I'm going to talk about, all these different methods that people on YouTube don't know about. They only talk about the same old things over and over again. They keep talking about tourist books as if they were really something like teach yourself. 
or uh, colloquial or something, or three months, whatever the other one's called. Uh, that's meaningless in the overall sense of real learning. So anyway, so this is a little bit about the RASIS method. Look it up, the Dartmouth or Dartmouth language. And uh, if you've got the time and the inclination, go through it. And uh, you're, you're going to learn, guaranteed, because the, he does produce results. Now, I know a lot of people are going to cry, oh, I don't have that money. Well, then don't do it. And, you know, stay on doing nothing. You have to, but in any method, this I, well, I need to say this about everything. If you're not willing to invest in yourself, why do you think anybody else would invest in you? So you have to, any sort of learning that you're doing, any sort of self-improvement that you're doing, any sort of new skills that you're doing. And I will say this, because uh, I, I need to compare this for... Uh, to get an idea for people. There are people who are spending far more money learning how to do golf, playing golf, than they ever spend on language learning and more than they spend on uh, even with me with self-defense and I'm like the cream of the world which will save your life. You can't play golf if you're dead so you know golf is not a high priority on the evolutionary scale but staying alive definitely is. So anyway people are spending more for golf lessons <laughs> than they are for any of these other things. So let's put it in perspective there. You know, I think a language is more important than golf. And definitely your well-being, defending your family and yourself, staying alive so you can pursue stupid things like golf, <laughs> which is not a sport. Well, come on. But I'm going on tangents here because that's what the bad boy of linguistics does. He goes on tangents and he lays the smack down and tells those guys that playing golf will not keep you trim. No, it won't. Anyway, so Rass's method, look it up, check it out. It's cool. 